Hi. In this short video, I want to show you how we can use a OneNote template called the OnePKG file to start a new OneNote notebook with the same content as the template contains. To do that, uh, we will have several steps to do. I will walk through uh, each of the steps. Like the first thing is that we have to download the OnePKG file. Then we have to open it in the OneNote application. Be careful there. As far as I know, it only works in the Windows 10 application. It doesn't work in the web version. It doesn't work in the mobile version and also not on the Mac. Then we open an existing OneNote file, which I will call um, the target OneNote notebook. It's like the notebook where you want to put the copy, uh, copy the content from the template. Uh, and then we will copy paste uh, all of the content over to that notebook. It's a little bit more complicated that you might uh, know it from Word or Excel, but uh, if you have done it once or twice, it's fairly easy. So let's start. I just uh, have you one location in the internet where you can download a one PKG file. Perhaps you have in the internet or somewhere else another application. So the target would be to have a downloaded uh, one PKG file on your PC. So I just click on download here, save the file, say OK. Then we have a look in the download folder. Here we go. Uh, we have this one PKG file. If I double click on it, uh, the OneNote application opens. I can uh, name the notebook. So I just named this source notebook. And then it's created inside my OneDrive uh, repository. And I have a new OneNote over here. It's called source notebook. And as you can see, it's uh, pre filled with content. I have a welcome section here and uh, three other sections with content and pages on it. So now let's imagine I want to put uh, that template content to a team that I already have in Microsoft Teams. I just prepared this here. Let's imagine we have one uh, team for a project or a learning circle. And I've created a OneNote here. If you don't know how this works, it's just this plus and then create a new OneNote. Uh, and for reasons to, uh, of easiness, I just call this the, our target notebook. And as you can see, it's empty. It doesn't have any sections and uh, does not have any pages. Uh, what I did then uh, up front is I opened this OneNote in the desktop app. As I said, it, the copy-paste procedure only works in the desktop app. So I already did that move. And as you can see in my OneNote, uh, Besides the um, source notebook, I have also this one, this empty one. Uh, and here it's called the learner circle because it was the name of the template. But this is the target notebook, so to say. We can rename it here. Just go on the um, settings and then the target notebook. But you can uh, name it whatever you want. So now we have a source and a target notebook here. So I go on the source, click on each section and choose move or copy. Uh, in principle, you can use both. I just uh, use copy here to keep the content in the template. Perhaps I want to reuse it and I copy it. So first section, second section, copy, third section, Target, copy, and the fourth section. So I do have to do this step as often as many sections I have. And now when I uh, switch back to our target notebook, what you can see is that you have all the content here, like the four sections, uh, all the pre-filled content. And I still have this unnamed section here that come from the uh, initial one note. I can just uh, delete it. And then our target notebook just looks like the one uh, that uh, we opened as a template. And as soon as OneNote is syncing, you have the content inside your team's OneNote notebook. So this is how it works. Have fun with it. Uh, I hope this was a useful tutorial.